Test Drive with Graham Fletcher. This is the heart and soul of the Dodge Stealth RT Turbo. Now this car will be leading the Indy cars around this year's Indianapolis 500 as the official pace car. And you may ask, out of place on a racetrack? Not so, because this thing pumps out 300 very usable horses. The Indy pace car distinction comes with a catch, however, but we'll get to that a little later. The Stealth not only feels as though it's been on an extensive steroid program, it also looks like it because of its very muscular form. Having said that, the designers still managed to pinch the Stealth's waist enough that even Marilyn Monroe might have been envious. Incidentally, the original styling cues were taken from a concept car called the Intrepid. Inside, the driver and front passenger are treated to all the comforts one would expect from an upscale automobile. The seats are comfortable and provide the required lateral support. The rear seats are next to non-existent, meaning they are only suitable for infants. The instruments provided are legible and laid out in a logical fashion. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said of the climate controls. The pictograph used is difficult to see at the best of times and is far too complex to decipher when traveling at speed. As you can see, the skid pad is just waterlogged because we had a huge snowfall last night. Now, in fairness, it's, it's just not safe to do the pylon test nor a flat out zero to 100 time. However, we are going to try putting this thing through its paces and seeing how much traction we get from the four wheel drive system Bearing in mind, we've got summer tires on this vehicle. The anti-lock brake system employed on the Stealth certainly has the desired effect. Even in the less than ideal conditions encountered during the brake test, the ABS system hauled this heavy 3,700 pound car to a halt in just 116 feet. The brake pedal feel was good and the stops were controlled. In short, an excellent system that put on an excellent showing. Pop the hood on the Stealth and you'll find a power plant as sophisticated as any available. The 3 litre, 24 valve, double overhead camshaft features two turbos and two intercoolers. The result is a whopping 300 horses and 307 pounds feet of torque. Worthy of note is the fact that very few engines actually produce 100 horses per litre. Before we go to the scoreboard it's time for my usual pet peeve and on the Stealth it's to do with the amount of headroom. If you happen to be more than about 5'10", you're going to find it very tight. On the other hand, if you happen to be rather short, as my wife is, she complained about the height of the binnacle covering the instruments. Now to the scoreboard for the figures on the Dodge Stealth. We managed to race to the 100k mark in under 6 seconds, and that was without sidestepping the clutch, power shifting, or factoring in the bad weather conditions. Under ideal conditions, the car should turn in times closer to 5 seconds. Now, if only the car had the cloaking capabilities of its namesake. The combination of four-wheel steering, a driver-adjustable suspension system with huge sway bars and a very large set of Goodyear Eagle tires gives the Stealth phenomenal handling characteristics that are surprisingly neutral. I awarded the Acura NSX a perfect 10 for its anti-lock brake system. The ABS found on the Stealth is easily the equal and so I award my second perfect 10. For a 3,700 pound car with a 300 horsepower engine, the Stealth turned in a rather good fuel economy of 23 miles per gallon or 12.3 liters per 100 kilometers. The comfort level offered in the Stealth is extremely high. The suspension is firm but not uncomfortable and the level of noise generated never detracts from the superb sound quality of the radio. The Stealth is proof positive that a car does not have to cost a fortune to be technically superior. When you consider this car rivals the Acura NSX and the Corvette ZR1 for about half the price, it can be mistaken for nothing less than a steal. As far as the pace car snafu goes, the United Auto Workers in the States kicked up such a fuss about the Stealth, a Japanese product, winning the right to set the pace at Indy that a compromise was forced. On race day, a prototype Dodge Viper will be on the track. The Stealth will be used by the track officials, but it will not make it on national TV as the pace car. The Stealth, however, will retain the pace car title for marketing purposes. When motoring launched in 1988, it was only found on TV, not anymore. We have a robust website with the best auto journalists in the country. 
our Facebook, where the only topic of conversation is cars, and where it's easy to win cool swag. YouTube, which boasts 30 years of archives at your fingertips, including complete episodes. Cool shirts, right? For the first time ever, we're selling them. Google Motoring TV Shop to get yours today.